For the last 40 years, Nicholas van Hoogstraten has been a slum landlord with a string of convictions for violence. Violence which has helped him build an empire said to be worth 200 million pounds. Good evening. A multi-millionaire property developer who often behaved as if he was above the law has been found guilty at the Old Bailey of manslaughter. Van Hoogstraten dispatched his henchman to Muhammad Raj's home at Sutton in Surrey. They stabbed and shot him. His sentencing has been delayed so that he can be psychiatrically assessed. The judge warned he was considering giving him a life term. But he was back to his old tricks, using henchmen to terrorise tenants and literally throwing families out into the street. But it wasn't for fraud that Van Hoogstraten was arrested in September 2001. He was accused of ordering two henchmen to murder Raja, who was stabbed five times and then shot dead in front of his grandchildren at his South London home. Nicholas van Hoogstraten, the property tycoon who was recently freed on appeal from a 10-year sentence for manslaughter. So guys, last night you might remember the live feed. So it's the morning after. We feel like absolute shit. We didn't get any sleep hardly last night. We didn't get a hotel. We drove around for like three hours looking for one. We slept in a car park. Bucky slept on the roof of his car. Yeah, yeah, man. And that's how we do it on these road trips sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta rough it out to survive. This is how we do it, working hard all day every day. Okay, so right now we are at the Devil's Palace. He built a palace on his estate and barred the public right of way. Ramblers, they're scavengers trespassing, if you like, on other people's land and property. The nation's most infamous slum landlord spoke of his pride and joy, Hamilton Palace. The Devil's Palace is one of the most notorious places in abandoned history. Technically, it's not abandoned. It was just never finished. 40 million pounds later, and it's still not finished. 30 odd years later, and it's still not finished. I was only ever charged with conspiracy to murder and murder on the basis of a contract killing, on the basis that I had hired two low-life druggies to go and murder Mr. Raja. As you can see in the background, yeah, that's true. It is an absolute marvel. Why are so many people afraid of you, Nicholas Van Hoogstra? I, I don't believe people are afraid of me. No? Why did the original trial judge, Mr. Justice Newman, and the prosecution team require protection? A copper dome bigger than Buckingham Palace bigger than the Queen's Palace. That's the kind of money we're talking. You're gonna put somebody like me in prison for life, which is what they were trying to do. They were trying to bury me. Surely then they'd need the protection, wouldn't they? Because then I'm gonna be very irate. So right now I'm gonna drop a bunch of history on this guy. Now for me personally, I have quite a lot of respect for the guy. He came from nothing at all. Started collecting stamps to sell, sell sold his stamps. Then got into property, but the other... This guy started from nothing, and now he's worth not far from a billion pounds. What about a threat in May 2000? You were fined £1,500 for contempt at Hove Crown Court for saying to the barrister Graham Campbell, you dirty bastard, in due course you're going to get it. He was actually the youngest millionaire ever in this country. You told the Daily Mirror in 1998 you admitted to bashing a few of your tenants, but you said there were scumbags who no. had it coming. No. But at one point, he was once the most hated man in the country and there was a lot of scandal going around and he hired a gang to throw a grenade in someone's property. When one former business partner was slow repaying a debt, he arranged for a hand grenade to be thrown through his sitting room window. Van Hoogstraten was found guilty of that attack and of receiving over 100 pieces of stolen silver. He was sentenced to nine years. That's the lake I house. I trying to find the Korean girls. I thought they were over here. This is the lake house. Yeah, so we want to go, want to go round to the right. No, we don't, because that's where the gypsies are. I love how guys, this is where we're going. Yeah, we're out in the open here.
little house hut. There's a worker here. It's a bad idea going that way. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how many fish are in there. I don't know. I wonder if he'd mind if you went fishing in it. I know, yeah. If I want to know, it's that big of a pond, they won't see you. The struggle is real, guys. Mate, <laughs> he's you like fuck all the <laughs> <laughs> Oh Don't waste bucket skins yeah. That's just a yeah, typical yeah, yeah. um you know stop in the woods talking about man buns and Yeah we thought well it wasn't my idea. I literally just walked over here to roll myself a cigarette and Bucky was like yeah 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 you should And he older fits in his ear. So we found the bridge <laughs> I, I just don't know, there's like how many, nine, ten of us, one of us is going to fall in. It's going to be Steve, Steve's going to fall in while he's live streaming. Yeah, he can't swim, can you Steve? No. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think he's that deep. I got good, I got good balance though. Oh, you can drown in a puddle. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say you want to be fair. <laughs> yeah, you got it, you got it. Yeah, see this one's, it's not thick, we need real, yeah, here we, we go. need a thicker one, yeah, yeah. Let me see you. Oh, man. This is all fucking garbage. Yeah, right, I guys. Do you reckon that's going to work? That? No, we could, seriously, it's not even that I deep. Know, oh, they keep floating away. <laughs> yeah, that, that <laughs> I stood on it. <laughs> oh, 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 she just jumped it. Well, that's Bucky, bro. Oh. Yeah, now we're gonna tell Bucky we're going the other way. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bucky, we're actually going the other way, bro. Anyway, nice. You thought I was gonna fall in, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Huh? I was kind of disappointed when you didn't. So I think we are lost. We've been going through the, the forest for about three hours now. And we actually don't know which way we came from. Corner of that property there. Okay, I saw his little hell white helmet. Hi. You know, I made a friend.
something there, like it's a person. I wonder if it's also a trash in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. I know. Well, we know we can escape from here. That window's cracked. Climbing the scaffolding, and there's a number of people there. And the problem is, we found a number of shotgun shells. People being made to shoot. We've got two. That's the problem. Is That's what we've got. They are known for walking around with shotguns and stuff, and they'll, they might just shoot warning shots off at you, but I'm not willing to risk that. So now we're going to get out of this place. It's just too dodgy. Maybe in the future we'll be able to explore this place properly. I don't know though. Pretty sure we have a look. Dan, Dan, undo that. Dan, Dan, the branch. Sorry, I didn't even meant. What the fuck is Carl shot that? And unfortunately, due to uh, the circumstances of being shot at, I just wanted to get out of there. I didn't even do an outro or anything. So, uh, yeah, what we learned today is you do not mess around with a guy who's nearly a billionaire hiring gypsies to protect his 40 million pound mansion. Right,